Okay, so let's have this example. The four rigid gears uh, loaded as shown in figure A are attached to a 2-inch diameter steel shaft. Compute the angle of rotation of gear A relative to uh, gear D. Use G, or that is the modulus of rigidity, that is equal to 12 times 10 raised to 6 uh, pounds per square inch for the shaft. Okay, so we are looking for okay, the angle of twist. Okay, the angle of twist of gear A okay, with respect to uh, D. That is basically equal to the summation of the angle of twist for all uh, segments that is from, okay, from, A to, okay, from A to D. So if this is our uh, point of view from A to D, and we are to, uh, let's say, uh, represent this uh, figure, okay, this will be the equivalent. If our point of view is from A to D, which means okay, the torque at A, the 500 pounds foot, is okay, counterclockwise. Then next at B, that is the 900 pounds foot, that is clockwise. At C, we have 1,000 pounds foot, that is also counterclockwise. And lastly at D, okay, we have uh, that is 600 pounds foot, that is uh, clockwise. So let us uh, recall our sign convention for torques. So the rotation, if the rotation of the torque is counterclockwise, we assume that to be a uh, positive. Okay, when it comes to actual forces, uh, we are using an arrow to the right to represent the, the force to, or to represent a force to the right. If the rotation is uh, clockwise, we assume this to be negative. And when it comes to actual forces, uh, we are using uh, an arrow to the left to represent that it is okay, a, a negative uh, force. So in the same way, okay, if we are to uh, put a symbol that will represent this uh, torques for an easier analysis, we have 500 pounds put that is counterclockwise. So therefore, it is, okay, let's say, an arrow to the right okay, is still a torque. This is 500 pounds a foot. Then we have at point B, okay, that is 900 pounds put to uh, counter. Uh, 900 pounds put clockwise. So therefore, okay, we are to place an arrow okay, with a direction to the left. They say this is 900 pounds put since the rotation is uh, clockwise. We have at C, okay, this is counterclockwise again. So let's say we have an arrow to the right, but still this is a torque with a magnitude of 1,000 pounds a foot. Then lastly, at point D, Okay, we have 600 pounds put that is clockwise. If clockwise, okay, we are to uh, represent this torque okay, as an arrow to the uh, left. This is okay, 600 pounds foot. Okay, so we are now ready to draw our uh, torque diagram. Okay, so for torque diagram, so let's say starting at zero, we have at A, uh, we have a magnitude of 500 pounds put that is to the right. So we assume that to be positive. So this is from zero to a magnitude of, let's say, 500 pounds a foot. That is a uh, positive. Up to a uh, point B, uh, we have a constant value of the torque, 500 pounds foot. But at point B, we have... Another torque that is uh, clockwise or an arrow to the left, so we do the summation. This is okay, assumed to be a negative. So negative 900 plus 500 okay, will give us a value of a torque okay, that will be equal to negative 400. So negative 400 up to a uh, point C. So this is a okay, negative 400 pounds a foot. At point C, we have a positive torque that is a counterclockwise or an arrow to uh, the right so we do the summation 1000 plus negative 400 will give us okay, a value of okay, positive 600 pounds a uh, foot of a uh, torque then the, uh, we will be having a constant value of 600 pounds foot up to point okay, up to point D so at point D we have a, a, a torque that is clockwise, so we assume that to be a negative. So the magnitude of the torque here is a 600. So this is 600 plus negative 600 that will give us a value of a zero. So we assume that this shaft is in equilibrium. So as you can see, this is uh, we have these positive areas, which means uh, these segments are 
twisted in a, in a counterclockwise direction. And for the negative areas, is a, ay, it is twisted in clockwise direction. So for segment CD, this is also clock, a counterclockwise rotation. So how do we compute for the uh, rotation from A to uh, D? So we now have, uh, using this torque diagram, we now have the net torques per uh, segment. So we have the torque per segment uh, AB is equal to positive 500 pounds foot. We have the torque per segment BC is equal to okay, negative 400 pounds foot. Then, okay, the torque per segment uh, CD is equal to 600 pounds foot. Okay, so those are the net torques per uh, segment. So if you are looking for the angle of twist of gear A with respect to D, this is basically equal to the summation of the torques times their corresponding length per segment okay, divided by okay, the polar moment of inertia multiplied by D. I modulus up uh, rigidity. So we have a constant cross section. So all we have to do is we may factor out the denominator. Uh, this is uh, the rotation of gear A with respect to D is I1 uh, over the polar moment of inertia, the modulus of rigidity, uh, multiplied by the summation of the torques multiplied by their corresponding uh, lengths. So let's have, uh, all we have to do is now uh, substitute. So we are now substituting, we have the rotation of gear A with respect to D, this is equal to 1 over, okay, what is the dimension of the gear, or what is the dimension of the shaft? That is, okay, pi, we have a diameter of 2 inches, this is raised to 4, okay, divided by uh, 32, so this will give a unit of inches raised to uh, 4. We have the modulus of uh, rigidity, okay, so what is the value of the modulus of rigidity from the given? We have 12 okay, that is, uh, This is 12 times 10 okay, raised to 6 pounds per okay, square uh, inch Then multiplied by okay, what, is our, what are the uh, torques and lengths per segment uh, Per segment We have per segment AB okay, The torque is equal to 500 pounds a uh, foot. What is the leg? Uh, what is the length of segment AB? So we have a length of uh, five feet. Uh, this is uh, I multiplied by uh, its length, five feet. I okay, plus the torque per segment BC is negative. Uh, we have a value of this is negative 400 pounds foot. What is the length of segment B, uh, BC? That is, okay, we have three, okay, 3 feet. Then plus the last segment, that is uh, segment CD, okay, we have okay, 600 pounds foot, then a length of uh, 4 feet. So this is uh, 600 okay, multiplied by its length, that is uh, 4 feet. Okay, the unit of our numerator again is in terms of the pounds, okay, feet squared. So to be uh, consistent with our units, we are to multiply, this is 12 inches is 2, okay, 1, okay, 1 foot. Then as you can see, this is squared, so uh, we square this uh, term. Okay, now, if we are to do unit analysis, okay, so this is inches squared, this is inches raised to 4, so we have inch, uh, inch, square inches. Okay, on the unit pounds, we, we are to cancel also the unit pounds. Uh, so this is uh, inch or a square inch. Uh, on our numerator, since we are to square this term, uh, this is square foot, square foot, square inches. Uh, so we are also to cancel the square uh, inches. Uh, the remaining unit on our denominator is square inches. We are also to uh, cancel that. So basically we have, uh, the resulting value should be a uh, unit less. Uh, since the uh, resulting value is unitless, that is in terms of uh, region. Okay, let's have the value that is 500 multiplied by 5 okay, minus 400 multiplied by 3 
Okay, plus 600 multiplied by uh, 4. Then converting to uh, square inches, that is multiplied by 12 squared. I divided by uh, the polar moment of inertia, that is pi 2 inches raised to 4, divided by 32. Then multiplied by the modulus of rigidity, this is 12 times 10 raised to uh, 6. So we have okay, the rotation of gear A okay, relative to D is now equal to 0 0.0283 okay, uh, uh, region. So if we are to uh, convert this one in degrees, we are to multiply okay, 180 degrees is to okay, pi pi region. So canceling the region unit, I will be having the rotation at A in terms of uh, relative to D, uh, this time in terms of uh, degrees. So we have 0 0.0283 multiplied by 180 degrees, I divide by pi. So we have the rotation as uh, 1.621 degrees. So this will be our answer. The rotation of gear A uh, relative to uh, D. Right, so this will be our uh, solution.